Hey kids, Congressman Crenshaw here again. Sorry for interrupting your scrolling one more time, but I have another story for you. Last week, I told you about the story of Old Glory. If you missed that video, you can find it on my website at crenshaw.house.gov. This one is about someone not much older than you who participated in one of the most pivotal moments in American history. If you ever think you're too young to make a difference, this video might change your mind. So here's the story of the 26-year-old who signed the Declaration of Independence. You probably know the names Samuel Adams, John Hancock, and Benjamin Franklin. All were famous founding fathers of our great country and signers of the Declaration of Independence. But I bet you have never heard the name Thomas Lynch Jr. Thomas Lynch Jr. also signed the Declaration of Independence. But there is one thing that separates Thomas Lynch Jr. from his fellow signers, his youth. Samuel Adams was 53 when he signed the document. Benjamin Franklin was 70. Thomas Lynch Jr. was just 26 years old. That's 10 years younger than I am right now, and I am very, very young. <laughs> well, I am. Okay, but seriously, Thomas Lynch Jr. was a very impressive 26-year-old. Lynch Jr., a South Carolina native, was chosen as a commander of the 1st South Carolina Regiment in the Revolutionary War. In 1776, the South Carolina Assembly named Lynch Jr. to the Continental Congress, the group of delegates from the 13 colonies who helped form the government of the United States as we know it today. Thomas Lynch Jr. and his father, Thomas Lynch Sr., were the only father-son combo to serve in the Continental Congress. When his father became severely ill in Philadelphia, Thomas Lynch Jr., at just 26 years old, signed one of the most important documents in American history, the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is vital because it tells us what the purpose of government is, to protect our inalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thomas Lynch Jr., not much older than you and your classmates, fought for American independence, helped form the foundation of our great country, and signed his name on a document that still guides the mission of the United States government to this day. Just three years after signing the declaration, Thomas and his wife set sail for Europe in search of new opportunities. Tragically, the ship disappeared at sea and the young signer of the declaration was never seen again. But you can still get a glimpse of Thomas Lynch Jr.'s legacy. His signature, though tremendously faded, still rests on the historic document displayed at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. I hope you can visit the nation's capital and see the Declaration of Independence for yourself. Look for the signature of Thomas Lynch Jr. and remember the story of the 26-year-old signer of that transformative document just a few feet in front of you. Thanks for listening.